playing the character of Lee in Bird, and one of the adults that um, she has to sort of she meets in the story, and she has to sort of guide her through her life and what the decisions she makes and the relationship she has. And I'm one of the adults in her life at the time. So, and there's the story I follow with her is is part of her journey and the decisions she's got to make. I'm Connor, oh, and I play the character of Dan, who is. 17 he kind of gives Ava hope when she needs it most for me this is kind of like it's not a job this one this seems to be a little bit more this one it's it's the, the subject matter and, and what it's about it's it's not just another play this is it it's, there's something really you know it's a strong important. message there's something to say for once and you know and it's sort of gone beyond that now it's something that i didn't know anything about yeah. and you know, we were no, completely naive yeah. to come into it and to, you know, and hats off to Rachel and Kath and, and everyone to put it on. And we met a lady called Debbie from Voices from Care. She came in and it's this lady as an organisation that looks after vulnerable people just coming out of care and in care. And her life, just five minutes with her and what she told you about her life was like, if you're having a bad day, you know, just talk to Debbie. She'll tell you what, she'll tell you what life's about. These kids are so vulnerable. They're, they're babies, mm. and they're they're probably like a mile away from us right now. We're sat in this room, comfy and everything, and they're living a hell right now somewhere. And I hope that this play does something for them, and I hope it kind of says, you know, someone's looking out for you. You know, and this issue is everywhere. You know, yeah. You know, they said it in Penarth and stuff, and Barry and stuff, but you but know, you could take it. You could pop it, it in everywhere. Edinburgh. You could pop it in Manchester, yeah, London, etc. And it, the the yeah. subject matter and the issue is going to be relevant, I think, anywhere in Britain. So yeah. you, you could take a character like Ava, like Dan, mm. like Lee, uh, and you could just see what's on the page and go, oh, well, this is clearly the victim, this is clearly the bad guy, this is clearly the doctor, or etc. And mm. there's so much more behind... Well, it's a subtle piece of writing. Yeah. So the, the whole thing deals with sort of grey areas, doesn't it? Like, there's really grey... And that's what's great about Kath and the way she's put it together. It is grey. And to play grey is really, you can there's no right way or wrong way to play grey. You can just kind of mess, you can, you can see the rest. Yeah. Yeah. By sheer, I can't contain my excitement really. So I really just want to get on stage at both venues now. And what guys told me about the exchange and obviously from watching Iphigenia at the Sherburn, I, yeah, it's just two great venues, which I think are, at the forefront of not only just Welsh and English theatre, but of British theatre. Mm. And yeah, I, I can't wait. Well, they're both kind of we're quite cutting edge theatres as well, so to get that sort of, that's the sort of match made in heaven as well, you know, marrying them two and, and see what and see what happens and see what we've got sparks already in its week three. We're already yeah. sparking.